Welcome back to another video. I just purchased another Toyota. Not just one, but I bought two Toyota this time. I picked up this 90 pickup X Cab 3.0 V6 5 speed. And I also picked up a 92 Forerunner automatic. The owner was selling both of it. And um, he just gave me a deal on both of them. Both of them are running. Um, this one's a bit more beat up. But the pickup was what I was really more <coughs> interested in. Because I already have a Land Cruiser. So I have like an SUV already. So um, the Forerunner, I'm going to probably just sell that one. But here's a walk around on the 90 pickup. <coughs> the frame is solid. No rust on the frame. Um, but there's definitely some rust on the fenders and stuff like that. But again, this truck is going to be meant for just street dailing, doing truck stuff. You know, whenever I need to haul stuff in the back of the cab, <coughs> I can just use this. Because on my Land Cruiser right now, whenever I need to haul stuff, I have to use my 4x8 trailer. Which is okay, but not the funnest. So, <coughs> it was a good time to buy a truck. And this just happened to pop up. <clears throat> so let me show you guys a little bit of the walk around. <clears throat> for some reason, the red on Toyota is very common for fading away. <clears throat> the rest on the fender is very common. <clears throat> rust. And again, all the rust, I'm not going to repair. I'm just going to leave the truck the way it is. We're just going to run it the way it is. <clears throat> the only thing that we're going to do is baseline tune it. <clears throat> give it a fresh tune up. It definitely needs some new shocks. Shocks are dead and the rear leaves are kind of dead. So I might, the only thing I might do is um, buy add a, add a leaf kit and just kind of stiffen up the back a little bit just because I am planning all this stuff. Hat. It came with this nice topper. <coughs> Fiberglass topper, nice and flush, perfect size for it. Um, the only thing bad about this topper is that they don't have the keys and the struts are dead. But these struts right here you can just go to your uh, parts store and they're pretty easy to replace cost like 20 bucks a piece so nothing bad at all <coughs> rear bumpers rusted out definitely needs um it needs a new exhaust system because the exhaust has been all like welded it's all been uh, jerry rigged up so i will do the exhaust system myself i'm gonna do this i'm gonna use the same exhaust <coughs> or i'm gonna use the same muffler that I used on my 3.4 swap, which is on Amazon. It's a Flowmaster, runs about $45. And then the piping and stuff like that, probably I could be like another hundred bucks. <coughs> and then I'll do the wedding myself. So this is it right here. For the most part, I'm not gonna do much to it besides uh, maybe get some tires that's bigger, like 265 or some 31 inch, 31 inch. <laughs> right now it's on some 235s. Um, bed looks good came with this free jack brand new and the scissor jacks so i'll keep those in the truck the registration is good for another two years <coughs> these uh these wheels were on the forerunner and then i put these on this one because this one originally came with the steels so these are 235 75s <coughs> pretty decent not bad at all uh has factory 410 gearing so not the best not the worst um the forerunner came with factory four five six gearings on the differential so this is it right here and again has color fade airware <coughs> ifs ifs suspension i'll probably put some new cv axles and just check the ball joints tie rods and just do all the main stuff I might put an LED light bar and the windshield has been kind of rigged up but it doesn't look like it's leaking so far. The windshield's in good shape. There's only one small <coughs> crack on the top. <coughs> and this one came with the uh, the ADD hubs so I might get some new, I might find some uh, ASIN manual hubs for it. But other than that, that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and take a look at the interior. Interior is pretty dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet. <coughs> but you can see here, all power. No, it's all manual. Manual locks, manual doors. The seat's kind of dirty. 
missing headrest <coughs> and the seat for this one the guy took it out and he fabricated something like this one here which is not the best he did gave me the driver's seat so i'm gonna put the driver's seat back on the only thing different about that one, the only thing bad about that one is that one's way more dirtier and has like a tear but i might just clean it put it back on and then uh put seat covers so i haven't vacuumed yet because it's been raining all day the only thing i did out um, the only thing I did today was <coughs> it came with some little side step. I removed those. I removed the front sway bar and I also pressure washed the frame because the frame was like dirty. So I haven't got the time to vacuum yet, which I'll do once the rain here stops. But that's it right there. It's missing some stuff. <coughs> the back seats are pretty dirty as well. But I'm not too worried about it. Again, it's a truck has a one piece rear window the latches are missing if anybody has any of the latches let me know i like to buy them from uh it's crazy because i had two sets of windows i had two pairs of these because i was parting a lot of vehicles i gave one pair to eric and then he used the latch to, on his rig and then the other set i gave it to one of my followers because he had a truck and he had a broken window and um, I just gave it away for free. But now, like, all those parts that I gave away or either I threw away, I now need them. But it's all good. I'll find them eventually. I always find something. This one doesn't have sunroof, which is nice. I prefer the, um, I prefer it not having a sunroof. I'd rather just have a hard top. Uh, my 3.4 swap truck, it had a sunroof. And the sunroof is nice, but it's pretty useless. Like, you can only, uh, you can only pop it up. You can't slide it back like the Land Cruiser. So, I rather just have a hard top. Less glass to break and, you know, just less issue, less leaking and stuff like that. So, let me tell you guys the story on how I found this one or how I came up about this one. So, I actually didn't find this one. And this one wasn't on Facebook Market. It wasn't on the market yet. <coughs> uh, one of my followers... Or one of my viewers, I guess you can say. Um, they actually sent me an email. They emailed me. Or oh, here, let me. They emailed me. <coughs> and they're like, hey, man, I see that you've been looking for some old Toyota trucks. Um, I have a 90 pickup and a 92 Forerunner. Both runs and drive. I'll sell it to you for this much. Or you can just buy one of them for this much. Uh, feel free to check it out. And as soon as I got that email, um, you know, he, he texted me like one photo of both of the vehicles together. <coughs> and as soon as he sent me that, I was like, yeah, let me come by and check it out. I went to go check it out with my little boy. Um, we looked at it. Didn't test drive it because I had my son with me. Uh, we looked at it for a while. Took a, I took a look at it. Um, and then I liked it. Oh, yeah, it's good. You know, it's worthy. It's perfect with what I need, you know. I'm not looking for the cleanest pickup or anything like that. So after that, um, three hours later, <coughs> went to the bank and went to go bought it. Homeboy Kennedy and I we took a lift there, and we actually went and test drove. We test drove the Forerunner first, ran it on the highway, <coughs> and then we ran the um, this pickup after that, and they both were real good. The only thing about this one is that it has a whining noise. <coughs> it has a whining noise when you're driving, but when it's in neutral, it doesn't whine that much. And I'm, I first I thought that it was the power steering pump, but now I'm thinking that it's actually coming from the flywheel or the throw throw out bearing. And I'll st I'll start the vehicle here in a bit, and you guys can hear it, and maybe you guys can help me solve it. But I'm hoping it's not something from the transmission issue or the, or the clutch issue i don't feel like dropping a tranny at this time <laughs> i just want to drive this yeah i thought it was gonna be the power steering but i guess it's, it might not be but um yep this is right here and it came with all this this fuel filter is the one i bought for my pickup and this is the actually this was the one that i actually sold to this guy so when this when this guy came and bought that fuel filter he actually drove this truck and I recall that for a second. And then when I went to go meet him yesterday, he's like, hey, you know, you're the guy who I bought the fuel pump from. I'm like, oh, shoot. Now I remember. So small world, right? Big shout out for him 
or contacting me first like hey i want to give you dibs man before i put this on marketplace if you want to come check them out so i went and bought both of them there's one and there's the other one and yep that's the deal the topper i'm getting rid of i'm trying to sell that right now because i don't want that topper um i just i like toppers but i don't know i'm it's not it's not for what i need i rather just have a i rather put a toolbox in the back so let me pop this open real quick so right here is the infamous 3.0 3vze which everyone hates but honestly i don't mind um the thing with these engine is that as long as you know how to take care of it and you you're if you, you kind of if you're pretty mechanically inclined um they're not that bad so this is a 3vze um the radiator broke off of the mount so it's gonna need a new radiator because it's being held by bungee core and this is a pretty old one i can just tell from the look of it so i want to put a new radiator new hoses flush the cooling system i want to do that i want to check the timing belt when i have this open um, most likely it's going to need a new timing belt because it doesn't look like it's been touched for a while all this is rusted because this is a bearing right here this is one of the bearings for the belt so i might as well do the timing belt overhaul water pump coolant flush coolant hoses cooling system and while i'm there i want to put new belts these belts looks pretty good still but i'll put these i'll keep these for spares and i'll buy new belts alternator is brand new it looks new and he also had the old one in the trunk i want to get new coils new spark plugs i'm gonna do the egr delete i already ordered the egr delete kit already because that's the one the first thing i love doing on these engines just cleans it up more better you clean all this stuff off so egr delete i'm gonna delete the charcoal canister and they have something jerry rigged up right here i'm not sure why they did this but they have this little this looks like an isolator <coughs> so this red thing here looks like an isolator and i traced it so this uh, one is going to right here <coughs> yeah so so one is a power to right here which is also the main power so i'm not sure where the main power went to like the main hot wire from the engine but they have this that goes into the isolator and then the isolator is now being tapped into the harness right here um this one here no no it's going to the starter so starter goes into here and then goes into here and then this red wire is being tapped <coughs> into this harness so i'm not sure why they did that but they somebody definitely messed with the um <coughs> with the wiring issue and i'm gonna take a look into that and maybe clean it up and see why they did that but that looks like an isolator because i just installed an isolator on my uh dual battery system on the cruiser and it's the same concept and then they have this ground wire here that just grounds from here to the chassis which is not really important i know why they did this because usually this right here is supposed to be grounded to the chassis so i know why they did that but it's not really needed and then this just grounds to the <coughs> they have this um they have this hot wire, this ground wire to the block which is pretty normal egr delete <coughs> charcoal canister this doesn't have ac so that's good so i don't have to do any ac delete this doesn't have this doesn't have cruise control so i don't have to do the cruise control delete or if it did have cruise control i, I would actually leave the cruise control on because i love cruise control we're gonna while when we delete the egr we're also gonna delete this box i made a video on how to delete the egr on the 3.0 so make sure you guys just google that and watch that video i'm not gonna make another video once i do this on this engine because i just want to get it done once we do that we're gonna remove all these hard line as well so that means we're gonna we're gonna have to take up the up, upper plenum so once we have that upper plenum off we're gonna put new gaskets we're gonna pressure wash the inside and just inspect it uh the hood the trunk the hood is pretty dirty we're gonna go ahead and degrease that clean that wash the engine bay check all these hoses make sure they're good and there's no oil leak so far as far as far as what i know and then um i haven't i'll do the oil change and all that stuff we'll change the air filter i took a sneak peek at it it looks pretty clean so i might just skip it for now but eventually we'll do that and then we're gonna go ahead and flush all the fluids out so that's pretty much it so the main thing i want to do is <coughs> um tune up the engine like what i just mentioned i want to freshen up the suspension system so put new shocks on the front <coughs> um, new shocks on the back 
put added leaf on the back or find a new leaf pack which is stock and then i also <coughs> want to check the tie rods ball joints and stuff make sure they're good and also do the cv axle because i know those cv axles are kind of i think one of them is ripped but they're not bad and then also do the asin hubs replace our replace the front and rear differential fluids replace the t case fluid um redo the exhaust system and that's pretty much it as far as like my baseline tune-up you know i'm not gonna mess with it too much i want to keep this on a low budget and just keep it just you know don't spend too much money on it but only spend money on the needed stuff so this is it right here guys and this previous owner said they put a new clutch in there so clutch does feel good but it does have that whining noise so i'm not sure what that is i got new oil that's 10 30 oil right there I just run basic 1030 oil so let me go ahead and start this baby up and you guys can hear what that noise sound and also the e-brakes works good radio works um it's missing a clock the clock usually goes here or this one's a blacked out but i might take the clock from the forerunner and put it on there um, cup holder is broken so if you guys have one let me know uh, it's missing the, missing the ashtray. If you guys have one, let me know. And then also <coughs> on the shifter, there's a rubber bushing on the bottom of it. And it's pretty loose. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that uh, bushing, which is pretty common. Common maintenance. And everything is just basic, man. There's no power lights or nothing like that. There's one dome light. And that's about it right there. So let me go ahead and start this off and you guys can hear it and you guys can also hear that noise. So go ahead and put it in neutral, e-brakes on. We might not hear it no more because after a warm up and after you drive for a while, it kind of goes away. I might have to drive it. The exhaust has been like, it, the exhaust has been fabricated up not super loud but it can be improved see that it's all jerry rigged up so i'm gonna chop it right here put a new gasket and then rebuild it all the way back but you can see right here the frame is solid solid frame i just got done pressure washing it it had like a whole bunch of dirt on it the only thing bad is that um, the bed here does have some rust. You can see the bed rust up there. But again, I'm not too worried about it. As long as this truck runs good and it can do truck stuff, that's fine with me. I just noticed that the differential breather is messed up right there. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that. So, let me see here. What else have I shown you guys? So yeah, that's the story of this one here. Um, I'll make another video of uh, the full runner. I'm gonna go park this one and I'll make another video separately of the full runner and I'll show you guys that as well. Because I can't drive two trucks, you know? Yeah, it's not making the noise no more. So let me go take it for a quick drive and I'll show you guys the noise if it makes it. But you can see it, it's nice and quiet. Something also to mention while driving this in the parking lot and making a hard turn I've noticed something. I think the rear differential has been welded, which is really not what I wanted Because when I was turning hard the tires are chirping Because I driven a welded diff before so I know how that is and I think they will I'm pretty sure they welded this diff because when we test drove it, we were doing a turn at the light and it was chirping. And I was like, man, we weren't even going that fast. And now I'm in a tight parking lot and I'm making a turn. I can hear it chirp. Or I can feel my tires being locked up. So I know 99.9.9% .9 that they welded this diff. Which is not what I wanted. Because I want to have an open differential for city driving. I don't want to be driving with a welded rear diff. It's good for off-roading. You guys know that. I love it for off-roading, but I don't plan to off-road with this pickup. Whenever I want to go off-roading, we're taking the big boy, the, the Land Cruiser. So if anybody has a V6 410 gearing, 
um, stock diff, open differential, and you guys want to trade me, uh, hit me up, man. I'll be more than happy to trade you and swap it out. So right now, it's not making the noise. It's not making that noise no more. It's really weird. After you drive it for like 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> it goes away. But in the morning, when I was driving it um, to this location, running some errand, the first <coughs> 15 minutes, it was making that whining noise. And I'll try to get a video of that. I'll make a separate video about that whole issue so it can be something else. Thank you.